In this video, you're gonna learn the reality transurfing visualization process that I think can change your life. I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do it so that you get the results that you want easier. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be going more in depth on reality, transurfing, and understanding the visualization process to really getting what you want using the philosophy. Now I said philosophy because in a way, reality transurfing is not just a manifestation process. It goes deeper than that and it's almost like a way for seeing the world, a philosophy for life. And when you start to have this kind of awareness, a lot will change in your life because you start to see things in a much different way. Now for those of you who don't know what reality transurfing is, it's a powerful process that you can use or a philosophy for understanding the way the world works and especially with the integration and understanding of parallel realities, what people call the alternative space who follow reality transurfing. Now reality transurfing is a book that was written by Vadim Zeeland in Russia. It was originally written in Russian and he's a quantum physicist. And just now, the book is growing more and more. More and more people are becoming aware of it. Uh, the ideas of it are growing, and that's why I wanna share it with you on my channel. Now, originally, a friend recommended that I read the book. I read it, and I started to just apply some of the information just to see how it would work. And there were a couple principles that I started to apply that really made a game changer in my life. Like I started to find that things were flowing much easier. You know, before that I had more of like a, a Gary Vaynerchuk, like work hard, hard, like, you know, just really strong work ethic, which I still at a certain level have, but it's in a much different context now. And it makes it much easier, I think, with this understanding to apply in your life and to get the greatest amount of leverage. So it's like the action that you do take, you get much more than the old level of consciousness and understanding how to go about it. Now, reality transurfing, let me specify just a couple of the ideas of it so that we understand it at a deeper level. The idea is there is an infinite number of parallel realities that we can experience. That this is what is called the alternative space. Now in the present moment, the intentions that we have are what are choosing the different parallel realities or the different alternative space variations. Now the idea is that most people just simply don't have intentions and therefore they continue to got and to get the same results that they've had before. So the idea is that when we start to become aware of this, we can start to set more intentions in our life, that that is very powerful, and that any choice we make is putting us on the life track of certain parallel reality variations that we will experience. So it's almost like the momentum of the energy that you have going in a certain direction. Now the idea behind this also is that there are these thought structures that we have that anytime we think certain thoughts, we are adding and those have an electromagnetic reality within themselves, we just can't see it. And what happens is when those thoughts link up with other people's thoughts and they're similar, they create their own energy structure that has a life of its own. Now pendulums in general want us to use their energy and the reason that these thought structures team up is because there's just so much momentum behind it. So think of it like there's the planet and then there's a collective grid around the planet of everyone that's having a co-creative type experience. That the thoughts we think, when we think them, are adding up to other people's and when we think similar thoughts, those continue to be in like that bubble around the earth and that's something that is grows stronger and stronger the more people that think of it. Now think of it like this, there are in pendulums around any idea you can possibly think of, being Republican, Democrat, being a specific type of nationality, uh, being some type of group that you may be in, whatever kind of social structure there is, you could think of it like social conditioning, there are thoughts of that pendulum and many times we think we're thinking our own thoughts when in reality we're thinking the thoughts of the pendulum, we're thinking the thoughts of the thought structures and they're carrying themselves out. So this is about becoming aware of what you're thinking and decide that you're going to more so bring the awareness within and to think for yourself. Now. That's the idea of pendulums. Now, one of the most biggest game changers is understanding how to decrease importance for creating what you want in your life. Now, this is something I started to apply and immediately things started happening easier. This is the concept I was talking about. What this means is that anytime we put something on a pedestal, what we do is we immediately separate ourselves from it and we say that this, since that's very, very, very important, we also end up reaffirming that I really, really, really want that and therefore I really, really, really don't have it. Because anything you want, you 
at the same time don't have. If I want that over there, it means that it's over there and not here. And that creates resistance. So this is about more of understanding balance with the manifestation process and knowing that it could be cool for you to experience what you want. You can intend for it, but not to give it excess meaning. You know, you might had this feeling if you ever like had a job you really, really wanted and you went into the interview and you were just kind of tense because you were wanted it so bad. Or maybe it was like a, a person that you were attracted to and you ended up putting them on a pedestal and then you distance yourself from them and they either get unattracted or because they can like feel that dependence or just circumstances work out to where it doesn't work, you know, it doesn't happen. That's because there are balancing factors that are balancing out this energy. And what we must do is make it more natural for us to achieve our goals. It's more natural for us to get what we want because we are just more gliding through. We're observing rather than having so much charge to everything. So those are some of the basic fundamentals of reality transurfing. Now there's an idea and there's the visualization process that reality transurfing recommends. It's a little bit different than like the stereotypical understanding of how we know the visualization process of like the law of attraction. Now what makes it different is that it's more about creating from an observation point of view, but it still involves understanding our passion. So the idea behind this is that our heart, and this has been shown in the HeartMath Institute, the electromagnetic energy of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of just the head. Now, when it comes to visualization, the first thing we must do is be aware of what our goal is because most people, they have their goals, but their goals are anything that their heart can connect to. Like for example, if my goal was to make a million dollars this year, my heart can't really connect to it because it goes, well, what does the million dollars mean? Like, it's just, it's just paper. Whereas the head's like, well, the million dollars means you buy whatever you want, you get freedom and you can do this, you can do that. The mind understands it, but the heart doesn't. The key to this is having the goals be something that's authentic and something that we can connect to. So instead, what my goals are is they include me traveling the world, speaking in front of people, meeting lots of different people, doing deals with networks and being able to uh, travel and make videos wherever I want. That's a goal that I could really connect to because it's what I love to do. And because of that, it's easier for me to feel into that, which is an important part of the process. So this is about being and becoming aware of what your heart really wants. So for example, if your goal is to make a certain amount of money, instead, find out what you're passionate about. And if you already know what that is, then find ways of using that to add value to other people or find ways of maximizing that. So if you're like, well, I love making art. Okay. Well, what you could do is you could then make the goal, you opening up your own art studio, you sharing your art with other people. You may be growing an online business content business around art and showing other people the process of what you do, maybe vlogging it, content creation. You see, there's a whole bunch of different ideas, but what you do is you become more aware of how you can fit into the goal itself rather than the side effect of that goal. Now a side effect of that goal is the money. Money is a side effect of the product you can add to that you can add value to other people with, or it's just a byproduct of you doing your passion and you doing it at a certain level to where somehow you're able to generate the side effect of money from it. So this means that what we can begin to do is to focus more on the goal than anything else and to start to live from it, to act on our passion as cheesy as it sounds, as much as we heard this growing up, you know, follow your passion and follow your excitement. It is really the key to reality transurfing. And when we do that, we start to pave our own way. Now there's another part of this that's important too, and it's not copying other people's passion and not copying their path. You know, like normally we hear with the law of attraction, oh, you should model someone else. That can work, but it's inauthentic to who you really are. And what you want to do instead is you want to maybe use some of the principles, but to do it in your own way and to pave your own way. This is an important part of reality transurfing. Your goal should not be somebody else's goal. Maybe somebody else has a similar goal, but it should be something that's straight from your heart rather than like a copy. Like sometimes in social conditioning, we're told, oh, you know, actors, be an actor and do this type of thing. And maybe your passion really is acting, but a lot of people might just want it because they admire Leonardo DiCaprio or Denzel Washington and they go, okay, I want to do the same type of thing. Therefore, that's my goal or I want to be like him. Instead, Make the goal something your heart can connect to and don't copy someone else's blueprints because when it's not authentic, you're not really connected to it with the heart anyways. So that's something that reality transurfing 
talks about as well is pave your own way. You know, I'm learning about this because especially when it comes to pendulums, the idea is that it's easy to fit within the energy stream of certain thoughts and certain momentums that are already going, but the best one is to simply create your own. That's why I think you'll notice that on this channel, there's been so much new information that I've been sharing over the last couple weeks, and it's stuff that you know is a little more esoteric, but guess what? It's also more authentic to me, and I'm paving my own way. I'm creating my own path. It's good to be different, and that's what I'm learning with this whole process is to pave my own way and to go about it in confidence and knowing that this will lead to my own authentic expression of who I am and being different than all the other people that do what I do. So that's another aspect. Now, another part of visualization of reality transurfing is understanding the goals. Instead of making the end goal something that's way up here and something that we can't really connect to, what reality transurfing talks about is breaking it more into segments. So to have something that's more realistic. Now, for example, my goal could be that I want to be at a million YouTube subscribers. And that's a great goal, but that's something that's more so in the background because until then, it's more so about how can I reach these certain milestones. So instead of having that big chunk goal of 1 million, what I might do instead is I might have a goal to grow by 100,000 in a certain smaller amount of time. And then what I do is I focus on the outcome of that. Now, this means that it's more realistic. It's something that the heart can more connect to rather than having it be such a jump in that frequency, think of it like that's a certain vibrational frequency of 1 million subscribers, which will eventually happen with consistent doing what I love and you know going through the process. Now, the idea is that instead of making that the goal, like right now I'm just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, what I'm doing is I'm breaking that down and I'm feeling and I'm creating what is called a slide, which we'll get into in a minute, and I am using it as chunks, and you can do the same thing. If you're making, uh, if you wanna make a million dollars a year, for example, and you maybe make like $60,000 a year right now, the idea is instead of focusing on that hundred or that million, instead start to focus on how could you make 150,000. Now this doesn't mean necessarily lower your goal, but see how you can make these little milestones before. So maybe instead of making a million in a year, focus on how you can make uh, maybe $50,000 in like two weeks or something like that. Or how can you, not just the money though, remember, this isn't about the money, this is about how can you do your passion, find the systems and add value to other people. So don't make that a goal in itself, realize it's a byproduct. So you see what I mean? It's so conditioned into our minds, even as I'm saying it right now, I'm talking about the money. Instead, make it about the passion and the byproduct of that is the money. So focus on you doing what you love and that will come. Same with the YouTube subscribers for me. It's more so focusing on what I love, knowing that as I add more value and I reach more people, that's a natural byproduct. And as I focus on that passion, that can be in the background, that amount and all those things, but understand you can give yourself segments of that goal. Don't instead of going for the big, the big grand part of it, make it something that you break into smaller segments that you can take action with every day. It's almost like this is an easy example as well. If I had to create a program, for example, and the program is going to be um, some type of program, like for example, a reality transurfing coaching program, which is something I'm creating right now. And it's going to be a monthly membership that people can pay a small amount per month and get. Q and A's answered, like live Q and A's, get premium videos that no one else gets on YouTube, get a Facebook group that helps along the process so that people can get the maximum result they want. Creating this is not so much about how can I create it all in one day and have that goal in one day. Instead what I'm doing is I'm creating one or two videos a day for like six, uh, for about three or four weeks, then adding it and then creating the program, you see? So it's like how can I do, what can I do today to add to that. So it's a little bit more stretching it out, but it's very easy for me today to make two reality transurfing videos specific for the premium video program of it. And that's something that's easier to do because it's broke down into something more realistic than me creating, you know, 30 videos all in one day, which can happen, but the energy works out better I find when I do it over a course of time. So that's another part of it. Now let's talk about a slide. A slide is one of the signature parts of understanding reality transurfing. Now a slide, and what a slide is, is it's understanding that instead of having more so like the energy within us needs to like get to a nine or a 10 out of 10 for us to get our manifestation. It's about understanding the power of observation, still following our passion, but creating like a slide that overlays into our reality. Now let me give you an example. Think of it like a film strip, right? Film strip has these different frames on it. Those different frames could be one picture, one snapshot of what we want to experience. Now what we can learn to do 
is how to take and realize that one of those snapshots exists right now in the present moment because there are an infinite number of parallel realities that exist in the alternative space. There are an infinite number of variations that exist. And what we can learn to do is to use one of those slides, one of those frames, and to overlay it into our minds throughout the day. So we may do this like five or six times a day, and what you do is you have one outcome of what it would mean for you to have your goals. So for me, for example, I imagine my slide, and this is genuinely what it is, it's me standing in front of a group full of people, an audience, and what I'm doing is I'm speaking. I'm having an interaction, a dialogue, Q&A section with the audience and what I'm doing is I'm sharing that energy what after that what I might do is I might go to a restaurant and meet with like-minded people and enjoy you know see people nod their heads when I'm speaking to them but after that go eat somewhere so you see this is like my little scenario in my own mind and that's the slide that I have created so what I do is I overlay that in my mind five or six times a day, but I don't do it with an increased amount of importance. I don't give it excess meaning. I just see it and I realize it's natural for me. It's natural for me to feel that because it's my passion. So I'm not giving it excess meaning and it's more of something you just do with an observation. You're observing it rather than you know giving it and really hyping it up too much because you want it to be natural. So what I do is I overlay that six or seven times a day five or six, it just depends, but I do it in the morning, I do it at night, I do it throughout the day. So that's something that you can do, have more of an observation type point and don't give it excess meaning. Anytime you give it excess meaning, you make it more important and you resist the process. I've also made a free guided meditation that will show you exactly how to decrease the level of importance of you creating what you want so that you increase the chances of you experiencing it. It also wires in the other reality transurfing ideas using guided imagery and using NLP, Neuro Linguistic Program, I mean, it's something that's absolutely free. I think that it can change your life if you listen to it for 21 days or more. It's going to be in the top of the description box. If you want that, go ahead and download it. So this is about the process of visualization. In general, remember that what you can begin to do is you can begin to neutralize a lot of things, create more of an observer point of view, connect to your heart, and understand that as you follow your heart and as you follow your real passion in life, that things will happen anyways. The money comes as a side effect of that. You becoming the best version of yourself, a side effect of that is you meeting someone that's attracted to you. When you have these types of understandings, everything can change. Another part of this, just before I go, is that when you are imagining these things, imagine it as if you're looking through your own eyes. Don't imagine it like you're watching a movie and you're in the movie. You connect to it more when you're seeing it through your own eyes. Imagine what that would look like. When I walk around on stage, I see the people in front of me. I'm able to connect to them. I see them nodding their heads, enjoying what I have to say. I see the whole process from as if I'm looking through my own eyes. So that's another part of it as well. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys on the next bit. Peace, much love, and namaste.